Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Abhi and I'm back with lecture series on science. Today I'm going to talk about Hurricane Ida. What actually started as a very small disturbance in the Atlantic Ocean quickly grew to a what could be the worst hurricane to hit US since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. One thing is certain that the climate change is here and it's making these storms stronger and more destructive each day. Until recently, it was common to think of climate change as a problem of future generations. <laughs> but now, it's quite clear that we are the people of future. The future has arrived and we are having to deal with it now. Be it Hurricane Ida or the wildfires that continue to burn across California, flooding in Europe, China and intensified monsoons in India. Change is making disasters more destructive more expensive and more impactful each change is leading to rising in sea levels which in turn leading to higher storm surges hotter temperatures and hotter temperature what they do hotter temperature creates more water vapor in the atmosphere which in turn means more rainfall warmer water means more stronger winds it all makes for a more destructive hurricane as the case with Ida the real danger is how unprepared humans are to deal with the effect of climate change. The storm killed at least 43 people in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut and have left and billions of dollars of destruction all over the United States. You can imagine half a foot of rain fell in just few hours which turned streets, subway platforms into rivers and this happened in one of the most modern uh, city, New York, where the drainage system is so well maintained and, and one of the best in the world. Just imagine something like that happening in any other part of the world or any other city of the world. And you will see, uh, you know, the, the impact is gonna be much more destructive than what we saw here. What we are seeing is impact of global warming on climate change which is leading to extremely dangerous weather patterns and in turn leading to severe hurricanes and rainfall in a very short span of time giving little time for authorities to prepare and warn people. The worst problem is predictability to such problems all over the world. If we do not do anything to stop pumping of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, unfortunately such incidents will only increase in near future. We not only need to reduce carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere collectively, but we also need to form a global task force to help each other whenever such incident happen anywhere in the world. It's not a problem for a particular country or a community. It could be one region today and your region tomorrow. We need to work together as one global community to address the problem of climate change collectively. And UN should play a role here. UN should form a global disaster management task force and all nations should contribute to the and raise the funds to help each other when such events strike anywhere in the world. We need to work together as one as we are all citizens of planet Earth and are responsible for our actions which are starting to show its impact now. Let's make a collective pledge to do whatever we, we can do individually and collectively to both prevent and help each other in times of climate crisis which are impacting us now. Thank you for watching.